With the directory submission and a few of these sort of lower level traffic things, I think you've hit the nail on the head as far as you want to try and go for things that are very high leveraged. And this is something where really it doesn't take much work whether you use a surface like, like Traffic Bug or even for directory sub submissions, directory maximizer or however you're doing it. These sort of initial things I think are fantastic to send a whole lot of links back to your primary money site using the URL as well. Because when we go and try and do some targeted linking back to our site through um, easy articles or even some of the other methods we'll talk about, blog networks, etc. and you're really targeting your keyword, using these strategies that you're talking about here, it's, it's excellent because it sort of mixes up to make sure that we're getting links back to the site with the domain name, which is very natural looking pretty much just building stuff that what would appear quite organic. And I know we chatted before about Traffic Bug, and it sounds great, the fact that it drips out that these links. It's not something that, you know, almost overnight you've got hundreds of thousands of links. That's right. In addition to which, these sorts of submissions, it generally takes a while for the search engine spiders to find these submissions as well anyway. Um, you know, a lot of these directories are relatively low authority, you know, low, low page rank. So it may take the search engine spiders, you know, a week or two weeks or even perhaps sometimes a month to find these submissions and ultimately then give you credit for the link. So, yeah, this, this is the sort of thing that will give you some sort of long-term value, but what it really gives you, gives you is the potential to get this new content noticed quickly and hopefully indexed quickly. So that's, that's phase one. It's all about getting attention. And, and how do you go from there? Well, then... then um, if we're, to, if we're to, now we have to talk about the site relative to in individual content on that site. Yep. Now, if you, let's say you've, you've published a post on that site and that post has been targeted to a very specific keyword. It's got a very specific competition profile. Depending on what that competition profile is, that traffic bug submission might be all that you need. But that, that's definitely probably only the case if you're looking at keywords that have got sub 5,000 competing pages phrase match. Yeah. Now, if, if we're talking about the blog itself, your, your, main, your main site, your main ranking vehicle, what, what we su suggest to people is they start to build a network of related sites um, on other domains, preferably other authority domains, which link back to that, to that site, to that blog. And by this, I mean creating a series of Web 2.0 sites that, uh, where, you can, where, you, where you can generate an authority link from that site back to your blog, but you also have the potential for that Web 2.0 page to rank for the keyword in its own right. So you've got multiple ranking opportunities for the keywords that you're targeting. Just to give a little distinction as well, um, just because my guys are familiar when I talk about own network as well, um, building out you know multiple sites on your own domain name. So you're you're really talking about building your own network of these sort of authority type Web 2.0 properties because effectively you are controlling that network. It's, it's a similar effect, but you're leveraging off the power of these Web 2.0 properties, just I suppose to have that distinction as opposed to building your own network, which might involve building more WordPress blogs through WordPress Direct or whatever, and then linking those back. Correct. Now, I mean, in, in essence, it's the same thing, Yeah. right? Yep. The only difference is the reason why you want to build pages on Web 2.0 domains is because they already have authority. Yep. Many of them are, you know, the root domain of those Web 2.0 sites is PR6s, PR7, some are PR8s. So even though your particular page on that domain is going to have low authority in true sense in, in terms of page rank, just by virtue of the fact that your page is sitting on an authority domain means that the link that you get from that page to your site, to your blog, will have a higher value than a link that might come from another WordPress blog on a, on a domain that has zero authority. Yep. So we're effectively, we're effectively borrowing the authority of these Web 2.0 domains to, to give us some links that have, uh, that have authority to in, improve, improve the potential that our, for our blog to rank for the keyword that we're targeting. But we're also attempting to have additional ranking vehicles in the search engines for the keywords that we're targeting because you know, those Web 2.0 pages will have the potential to rank in their own right. Are you looking to rank for the same keyword that's the primary keyword on your domain? So ideally you want to own the top five positions for a particular keyword, or are they going for maybe secondary keywords, or how do you do that? I would, I would uh, again, coming back to your keyword market research, I mean, the way that we teach it in the 30-day challenge is 
that you identify a theme keyword, your most important keyword within your micro niche, yep. and then a handful of what we call category, category keywords. Yeah, very cool. And, and category keywords are simply keywords that meet the competition criteria that you're using to, you know, to filter out your, your activity, but have sufficient traffic potential to justify, um, you know, the work that's going to be required to rank for those keywords. No point, you know, spending hours and hours and hours, you know, targeting a keyword that's got no traffic. So eventually you will have a, a, a range of pages that are optimized for both your theme keyword, your main keyword, but also your category keywords as well. Because ultimately you want your main ranking vehicle, your blog, to rank for all those keywords. So you need to get links coming in uh, to that blog for both the theme and category keywords. Yeah. Now, every time you create a Web 2.0 property, you're going to be submitting that to Traffic Bug as well. Yep. Yeah. You know, every new piece of content gets submitted to Traffic Bug. Or if you're doing it manually, you bookmark it. You know, you if, if you've got an RSS feed for that Web 2.0 property, you'd submit that to the RSS aggregators and the directories and, uh, and, and so forth and so on. Excellent. Some of the Web 2.0 properties that you guys identify as really strong, I know you've got Squidoo and Hub Pages. Are there any other ones? Like, they've been around for however long. Are there any new ones that you're seeing coming through the ranks that might have the same sort of strength? I know Squidoo's been around there for a million years, but is there any other ones that you identify? Well, you, you know, you can't go wrong with uh, easy articles, of course. That's also been around for a long time, but you you want that because what generally tends to happen with these Web 2.0 properties is that they get some initial Google love, of, you know, in, early in their life. Then, for whatever reason, the spammers get onto these platforms and and Google starts to reassess the ranking value of these of these pages, um, and, and and you know they go through a, a bit of a sort of down period where where they, their ranking in the SERPs is, is reassessed. But if they then sort of apply, you know, good management practices on these domains, as Squidoo and Hub Pages have done, then eventually they come through that sort of period of, of Google attention and they start to, um, their pages start to sort of, you know, recover in the search engines again. And uh, this has definitely happened for Easy Articles, yeah. which has a human moderation practice. And, uh, and, and Squidoo and Hubpages have both gone through that cycle as well. So they're very powerful domains and they've survived. You know, they've been around for a long time. So Easy in Articles is definitely the big daddy if you're doing article submissions. Scribed uh, is, is very powerful. They, they ha- have no follow links, but if I don't know what your position is on no follow links, but that seems to be weakening as a limit, uh, as a limit for, in terms of the value of that link. But I quite like Scribed. 